The gunman who shot and killed 23 people in a racially charged attack at the Cielo Vista Walmart nearly four years ago was back in the courtroom today as victim impact statements resumed. Thank you for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 5. I'm Andy Morgan. The shooter, Patrick Crucius, is facing 90 consecutive life sentences and pleaded guilty to federal charges. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap has been in the courtroom throughout this week's proceedings. And Shelby, what did the families have to say today? Andy, today a lot of the people who got up to speak told the shooter to look at them and one of the women whose mother was shot and killed, her name is Carla Moreno, her mother's name was Gloria Irma Marquez. She got up to speak with the shooter, but she said that she didn't want to say anything about her mother because the shooter didn't deserve her, never making eye contact, saying, quote, you shot her in the head. Look at me when I say that going on to say you're going to see me again and I will keep looking at you. You will see me again in the state trial. And after that comment, someone in the crowd said out loud, you will see all of us. The father of the youngest victim, Javier Amir Rodriguez, got up to speak wearing a shirt with his son's face and a necklace with his son's ashes, telling the shooter, quote, look at him. You ain't got the blank to look at him. You had the blank to shoot him. I want him to see that every birthday I go to the cemetery and, and sing happy birthday to him. Old victim Luis Juarez, who was shot and killed, and his wife Martha, who was shot and injured. Their daughter saying in the courtroom today, quote, the truth is us Latinos and Hispanics, we make this country a hell of a lot better. Going on to say the only thing we're taking away from you today is your freedom and finished by saying we're going to go jo enjoy some margaritas and Mexican food because we still have our freedom. After she said that there was clapping in that courtroom. Now the hearing will resume tomorrow at 10 a.m. But those victim impact statements, they are are now done now and the judge did clarify that while the shooter was given the opportunity to speak by law that he declined to do so and just a little while ago the DA of El Paso Bill Hicks did comment saying that for that state trial he wants to keep it in El Paso and he's hoping for an El Paso jury. Andy.